Hello, this is Adrian at excelattheoffice.com, or you can also find me at ito.blog. Um, this is a presentation template I'm sharing with you, a PowerPoint template, uh, a stranger template if you might like. It's um, based around the uh, furore at the moment that's going on about the Netflix series Stranger Things, which is a fantastic series I'd encourage you to uh, watch it if you haven't already it's intriguing it's it's kind of it's a bit of a light-hearted thriller if there is such a thing and it's really fascinating uh, my kids were desperate to watch it after they've obviously uh, been hearing about it at school so I've been uh, smashing the seasons with them um, and it's yeah, fun times, and it inspired me to create a template for you based around Stranger Things. And I've even gone to the effort of colour matching it to the official logo um, text. So see what you think of this template. Now, in uh, an alternative header slide, um, I've just gone and uh, put a white outline around the writing of the Stranger Things logo I've emulated there um, just because it makes it a bit more readable it pops out from the page a bit more um, which you'll I cover in more in depth in my accessibility section of my video on pra pr five practices for perfect presentations which you might well like to watch which teaches you all about um, how to give better presentations basically uh, and I think it's a bit more uh, readable than the oftentimes mid-tone on a dark background it just uh, brings it out a little bit more but um, that's enough of that let's get to it so you've got that header slide there you can put your own text uh, in it on the slide before so in this stranger template um, uh, I found a font that saves you having to go online and uh, download complicated fonts and things to your computer and in, uh, embed them so uh, one font in a standard font in Microsoft that you can use is something called Bookman Old Style. Um, if you make it bold and use capitals, it gives you that um, Stranger Things effect. And I've just provided the two uh, official uh, type logos there. One from the uh, spooky and intriguing 80s synth music entry uh, to the program intro to the program which is the red text on black background and also the red on white which i think is more part of their marketing um, the bullet points uh, indentation uh, of one and hanging by one so that means it moves it away from the bullet point by one centimeter but also all the rest of the text is hanging by that one centimeter as well so everything's aligned if you go to your alignment options I quite like um, around 0.8 uh, point line spacing you can get that by um, going into your line spacing options in PowerPoint and uh, choosing multiple and then you can do everything you don't just have to do multiples like one two three you can do partial uh, when you choose that option and uh, around 10 point uh, space either before or after the paragraph gives that uh, differentiation between the bullet points um, if you like creating your own memes and stuff uh, I've, I've created that um, stranger fonts uh, font down the bottom here using uh, the ITC Benguet font on fontmeme.com so that can be quite fun so that ITC Benguet is what the official Stranger Things font is if you do fancy going and uh, the complicated route of downloading your own font but if you're not that fussed and uh, happy with something that reasonably resembles it uh, Bookman old style font is quite a nice easy one to use straight out of the box and if you're interested, the ICT, ITC Benguet font is named after the guy that created that font, which has also been used in um, Stephen King uh, title novels. So uh, it struck me as it was similar to the uh, Stephen King novels. And when I looked it up, it, yes, it indeed uses the exact same uh, font, albeit it's a modern slight twist on it when you read up on it. Um, <clears throat> this is another slide in the uh, 
template you can I've, I've just added some points you might be interested in but you can replace all these and add your own image to the right uh, I've noticed that it's also taking inspiration from a lot of other 80s films and musics uh, music that features in it not least as we'll come to in a minute the now infamous Kate Bush uh, song running up that hill it's, it's amazing how these uh, things come back around again isn't it with uh, uh, young people today uh, singing it left right and center particularly my kids to uh, my annoyance no end um, <laughs> and yeah it's very much inspired by a lot of 80s things as part of the ambiance of the uh, music and you might notice uh, of the films sorry you might notice at the bottom here i've um created um, a kind of black segment with a red line through it but a variation on that that you can sometimes in design it's nice to simply invert something and I've given you a black line through a red uh, box at the bottom just to close it off as a different alternative option but um, as we progress through this some uh, stranger facts you might not have known um, there's <laughs> <laughs> I've written this in a bit of a weird way. The guy with no eyes in season four played Freddy Krueger. That's right. So I won't. Uh, there won't be any spoilers. So no need for spoiler alerts. But the actor is the same actor. There's quite an ominous um, guy in season four, uh, as the whole whole thing is pretty ominous, really, and uh, mildly gory in places. But I would, I would term Stranger Things as a bit of a light-hearted thriller if there is such a thing but that chap is the guy that played Freddy Krueger which I found quite interesting and in terms of the writers the, the Hopper character apparently was inspired by Indiana Jones so that's why there's a lot of resemblance uh, in his mannerisms and dress to um, in, it may chime with you from having watched Readers of the Lost Ark or something like that um, I found it fascinating when I was reading up on Stranger Things as well that over a thousand kids, or more precisely, 1,200 um, young uh, child actors auditioned for the child roles in the, the, um, in the program, which must have been a nightmare to get through all those people and whittle them down. Um, I guess it's maybe... Uh, not quite X Factor esque in the early rounds, but um, there would have been some uh, interesting uh, developments there, I expect. But they, I, I'd really like a program where there's relatively unknown uh, actors, and I like it when they do well and then they keep them throughout. And uh, apart from the classic, cult classic that is Winona Ryder, they're generally the cast has prior previously been relatively unknown. And also, the writers were inspired by um, uh, something called the Montauk Project, which is um, a, was a U.S. military uh, project into the powers of the human mind. Kind of similar to some of the uh, experimentation you might have see in the uh, dark rooms of the Stranger Things off-limits military testing base uh, if you were uh, to believe the stories which is something akin to what's previously uh, documented around MK Ultra uh, mind control uh, testing uh, that's also been used in the US military in the late 70s and something called um, Project Stargate it kind of reminded me of that thing, I had never heard of Montauk Project before, and it's uh, but it's it seems in the same ballpark as these things. Was Stargate is the again relates to the powers of the human mind, but um, if you want to learn about the uh, origins and story of that, I'd thoroughly recommend a book by John Ronson who explored it in the I think the early noughties in a book called The Men Who Stare at Goats, and then it became a popular film um, uh, with George Clooney I think as well as the lead character and yeah it's based on a true story of how um, well uh, the military tested on things including 
how they could try and use the human mind to, uh, well, stare at goats, but I won't ruin the story for you. I'll just recommend the John Ronson book. It's fascinating. Um, anyway, back to the template. So on each slide, I've given you a title header. Um, this is, again, using the Bookman Old Style font, which is a close resemblance of the official um, font, uh, as good as any. Um, that's in 76 point, which should be enough for you to keep it brief, the title, but to convey uh, what you need. It's in bold and underlined, and uh, the red text on a white background is still pretty readable for accessibility purposes. So I've mentioned my presentations video also on this uh, YouTube channel. I'd recommend going and having a look at that, not least for not just accessibility things, but just as I've done here, just being very um, simplistic and brief with your bullet points and your titles, because in any presentation you're supposed to talk through the things, not just read off a slide. So that means that you can make the fonts bigger, more readable and more impactful when you're using bullet points. Um, I've mentioned I've varied the black and red footer design for you and I've also added on there automatic slide numbers so when you um, copy uh, or right click on a slide and duplicate it to carry on the template you'll also get new slide numbers on your slides and that'll update wherever you place them. As a bit of a variation again if you want instead of bullet points to be putting your information in uh, a more visual format. Um, you might like these white boxes on a black background, again emulating the kind of red, white and black colour scheme of this Stranger Things template. And I've done this according to the uh, initial lyrics of uh, Kate Bush's now infamous again Running Up That Hill song that you'd be hearing everywhere. And if you're wondering why you're hearing everywhere, it's because it's in the uh, wildly popular Stranger Things series. It's almost like the new Game of Thrones Stranger Things, isn't it? Um, and carrying on the Kate Bush theme, um, another variation in this template that you can use uh, that you might like is in the bullet points, I've uh, arranged it so that uh, it's presented in two columns rather than the normal one column. So that can be helpful when your bullet points are very brief in text and you want to share quite a lot of things in one go. So for example, there's a there's several uh, lines in the uh, chorus of the Kate Bush song, seven to be precise, and that would just look a bit more boring as a list. So I quite like the two column approach there. Um, so that's something to play around with. So I hope you've liked this template. This is uh, um, one of my Excel at the Office um, where templates. I'll be posting it soon at uh, ito.blog, but I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, looking at that text now, I'm using the same um, text font as uh, I've done throughout this template, and it, I kind of I'm kind of regretting my original logo now. Quite like to change it to that. It looks, it looks quite good and straightforward. Um, and if you're interested, this is just a shorthand way where I've um, taken screen grabs of various slides to put in the blog, arrange them on a single slide so that then I can take a screen grab of this to give a bit of a preview as to what's in the slide deck when I put that alongside the download button. So that's a handy tip if ever you're struggling with um, putting images together on a page uh, on a website or anything like that or, or a word document sometimes it can mess about with the formatting so sometimes powerpoint is quite good to arrange your images and then take a screen grab with the snip and sketch tool in microsoft windows or um, uh, control shift and uh, command and f4 i think it is on mac um, to take a screen targeted screen grab. So I hope you found this uh, presentation helpful. 
and uh, I hope you find the template interesting. It spices up some of your presentations you have to do. Uh, get in touch if you would like any uh, bespoke presentations doing, any uh, Microsoft Office based uh, products, any design. I'll be happy to help you out and uh, let me know how you get on with this template. Um, so until next time, take care.